I think most marketers think that we sit there staring at an ad from start to finish without sort of any distraction around, but we, we live in this overload space. We are so busy and we have finite mental capacity. So what actually happens is we filter most things out and we only let some things in. What we actually see is that most marketers have the wrong notion of human attention. And what actually happens is we, we switch in and out, um, which in reality does make sense. So, you know, you'll, you'll kind of tune in for a second, then you'll tune out, then you'll go out of the room, then you'll come back in. And so there's this constant state of switching passive attention punches above its weight even though active attention or eyes on ad is by far the best type of attention in terms of it accounts for the greatest variation in sales uplift but we do know that even if you are kind of close to an ad passive attention does play a role Um, and, and that is good news given how busy we are but if there's no attention then there's zero chance that an ad will work it won't have any effect on business outcomes, whatever part of the funnel you use to determine success. So no attention paid, zero chance the ad will work. So we do know that human viewing makes a big difference to business outcomes. And I just want to drive that active attention drives the most sales uplift, no attention drives none. If the brand is missing, we fill in the blanks, right? And the attention that you've worked so hard for is wasted. Sales are amplified when attention peaks and branding are aligned. And that's not easy to do. Good branding is grossly underrated. It doesn't drive attention, but if it's not there when the attention is gained, then what's the point? And remember that attention and memory are not the same thing. So you have to teach someone what that brand is or what that ad is for at those attention moments. The point here is that most ads are not branded well. (laughs) That is a problem. The more attention paid, the longer the brand stays in memory. People underrate the importance of eyes on ad, not just from a short-term advertising strength perspective, but also from a memory measure. So what is a new finding is that each attentive second on average leads to around three days in memory. What we'll also say is that um, all visibility elements impact attention, pixels, coverage, and time. So pixels is the proportion of the ad on screen and coverage is the proportion of the screen that the ad covers. In this example, it's probably, I'd say about 30%. So we know that all visibility elements impact attention. And what we also know is that this significantly or visibility or viewability also have a huge impact on the amount of attention seconds. Two seconds of attention is not enough. The finding is generalizable across platforms and across countries. Our data shows conclusively that there's a difference in advertising impact above and below two seconds. Um, And this is consistent. So no platform is immune, not even TV. However, Time viewed and time in view is a very different thing. The reality, what advertisers get, is on average about half in terms of eyes on the ad itself. Um, And this is the difference between actual human attention and proxies. Um, So I kind of often talk about when duration is used because it sits at around 50%. This is actually us going, well, time in view can equally mean viewer distraction as it can mean attention.